I've told you guys the story of when I bought my house, right? And then realized like a few weeks later, because I was an apartment boy beforehand, that, oh crap, I have to mow my lawn now. I've told you guys about this, right? And also like I have neighbors that seem to have the biggest enjoyment in their life seems to be to mow their lawn. And they do it whenever I sit outside or have friends over, right? It, it's their number one thing in life is to mow their lawn, I swear. It's like I go outside, boom, boom. I even went over one and I, uh, once and I asked, like, didn't you mow your lawn yesterday? And the guy answered, my neighbor answered. He said, yes, but it's like therapy when I come home from work. And I was thinking, people have jobs. <laughs> Lucky skull. Lucky skull to have my Dylans. And so anyway, my, uh, my person who, takes, who helps me with my garden was here this morning. And um, she's like, uh, are you doing the thing? This is how she asks. Are you doing the thing? I was like, what is the thing? She's like, uh, when, when you play things and people are watching. Uh, and I quickly realized that she says this because not long ago, she was here and she decided to, um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how people know about these things, but she decided to scrape the concrete of the wall of my of my room like from the outside yeah apparently that's a thing you need to do like wash off the moss or whatever and um and i i had to stop her i'd be like i'm sorry but this is very noisy and i'm trying to record a video so anyway so i was like yeah i'm i I'm going to be streaming a little bit later, if that's what you mean. And she's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. No, because I want to... I have this new machine. She's she's very fond of machines. I don't know if it comes with the profession that you get very fond of machines. But she seems to always have a new machine with her. And so anyway, she was like, yeah, I have this new machine. It's quite noisy, but it's going to help the tiles. It's going to help remove the grass in the tiles. Now, personally, I haven't really noticed that there's grass in the tiles when i think about it when i when i say this guy this back to you guys i think that she's kind of creating work for herself but yeah anyway there's grass in the tiles and um so i was like okay she's like yeah can i do that or is it going to be too noisy i said i don't know i don't know what kind of machine you have bought and then she starts explaining to me what this machine does because uh, yeah as i say did i say she's an enjoyer of her machines and she describes how it like has a spinning thing at the bottom and she's brought like a, um, a shield that she's going to put in front of my window in case stones fly up. Can she do some work for me? No, no, look, look, look. She's absolutely amazing. It, it, she mows my lawn uh, once every other week or so and uh, she just fixes these things. It's very nice. But so anyway, so then... then um, yeah, she started doing that, and then she asked me to come out, like, an hour later. She was like, okay, yeah, how do you think it looks? And I look at it, and I can't tell the difference. Probably because I don't look at the tiles that I walk on when I walk to my... <laughs> it's kind of with his servants. Yeah, probably because I don't look at the tiles when I walk to my room. Like, I just want to play games. And so I look at her, and I look at the tiles. And I look at the tiles again, and then I look more at her. And then she goes, don't you like it? And I say, it's very nice. Yeah, I, li I like how... And I hear myself like create a word in my head, right? I like how smooth it is now. <laughs> oh, when am I going to become an adult? I don't understand these things. I don't understand... I don't have these worries in my head that my neighbor has about mowing their lawn, etc. But I am... I, she is very... I am very glad that she helped me with these things. I don't know if you'd call it a servant, though. I don't think you'd call it a servant. She assists me with gardening. And more so, the reason I the reason I hired this person a few years ago is because my neighbor complained <laughs> about the length of the grass, which I had not considered needing cutting. Okay? and And I don't know if this is a Swedish thing. This is probably a Swedish thing. Here it is. 
When Swedes complain, they don't do it like the Americans or the English, okay? They don't go, Oi, you got bloody clean that up. It looks like, it looks rubbish. Or the American, like, yeah, you should probably take care of that because, uh, yeah, I mean, that doesn't look great, sir. No, when Swedes complain, here's how Swede tells you that the grass is too long. Here it is. So, what kind of lawnmower do you have? <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> and of course they know that the answer is that I don't have a lawnmower. <laughs> I got the hint! Europe is like that. I don't know if English is like that. Uh, not in my experience with English culture, but but yeah, Sweden is like that. It's really cute. You may think that it's really cute, but dude, the, the passive aggressiveness sometimes get annoying. Oh dear, yeah, sometimes it gets very, very, very annoying. What's a lawnmower? I hire goats. Smart. Good for the economy. Fuel efficient. Look at me sounding like an adult. Yeah, that's good economy, man. Yeah, no, that's clever. Yeah. I think I think about these things sometimes in my life and and like how unevolved I am as a human being. What happened? Like I've had a I've had a real job. I've pretended to be an adult many times. But I just have no interest in these things. They don't interest me. Get a robot. I don't know if I should say this. It may make me look like some kind of, like I look, I don't buy things, okay? I, I, I'm not a material person. But when my neighbor asked me what kind of lawnmower I had, I started Googling. Because I'm an internet child, okay? And so I started Googling how often you have to mow your lawn when you own a house. And when the answer came back and said that you have to spend about, you have to do it about a weekly, in average in Sweden, specifically before before August. I was like, okay, this is, this is, this is problematic to me. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I was like, I don't want to do this. I started considering selling back the house. I started considering moving back to an apartment. You know, you know, guys, that I sat in my kitchen in my tiny apartment recording videos all the way up to 2020. I had my arm on my kitchen stove, which was a kitchen stove from like 1950s with like one thing on it. And I had no air ventilation in my room, in my kitchen. It was terrible. I lived in a tiny, tiny apartment. Slept on a couch, all of these things. Anyway. So, so anyway, I, I started considering that I should probably do that. That's how much it stressed me out. So here's what I did. I Google it, and of course the robot came up. Like, get a robot. It was quite pricey. They were like $1,000 for a robot. But I thought... As I always think, okay, so either I do this once a week and stress about it, or I buy this $1,000 robot, and and problem solved, okay? And it was like, you know, it was, a, it was a normal robot, it had a little house, it came with a little house and a cable that you had to plug in. Obviously, like, there was instructions that you should drill a hole through your wall to get the electric socket in, or contact an electrician. Obviously, I didn't do that. No, I opened my window and squeezed the cable through. But it had a little house. And, um... And then I, I... So I plugged it in. As you would any electric thing. I plug it in. Put it in its house on charge. It said that it needed charge for 48 hours before first use. So I left it for two days. My neighbor was walking past every time, like, looking very weirdly at my, at my house. And my one meter long... Tall grass. And, um... Did you not get a sponsor for a robot? No. No. And, uh, yeah. And so anyway, and then... Two days passed. So I went out, and I, I was annoyed that I had to go out and, and, like, do something with this. But, but okay, so I went out and I clicked the start button. Guess what happened? Apparently, and no one told me this, and I don't read instruction manuals because I'm a man. I, you know, you know how it is, guys. You know how it is. We don't need to read instruction manuals. But apparently, you had to put a goddamn wire 
dig it down a meter deep, which is like three yards, three, five thousand feet, and uh, and uh, and you had to do that in your garden. You have to like make it have a wall. I don't have a shovel. I don't know how to dig. And also, I don't want to do that. That's really boring. I want simple stuff to work. So I took the robot. And I sold it secondhand on the interwebs. Because I'm an internet child. And that was the end of, of the story of the robot. Very disappointing. So to all your robot enjoyers out there, uh, warning, warning. It's not just a plug and play, okay? It's not like a computer. No. No. Uh, and it's not just to install Windows. No, no. You have to, you have to get, you have to, you have to have a shovel. It doesn't say so on the instructions. You, uh, it probably does, but we don't, I didn't read them. But yeah, you have to have, you have to have a shovel. You have to dig. You have to work for it. And also, you know what? Actually, there's more to this story because I did consider... Um, I did actually ask someone on the town to come help me dig and do this for me. And he informed me that, because I asked, is there any other maintenance I need to do? Or is this like it? Do I just pay you and then this is done? He told me that every time it rains or thunders, I need to pull the robot out. And, and get it inside. Now, mind you, I told you that I bought a robot that came with its own little house. It had a little house, little roof and everything, right? But apparently, I still had to care for the robot, clean it. I had to clean the robot. And every now and again, you have to change its blades. All of this just became a bit too much for me. Okay? And so, then I found this person who's now taking care of my, my lawn. And yeah, it's, it is... It is what it is. Time is more valuable than anything to me. I don't care about anything else. Because time is the only thing that has true value. Then you play Minecraft? Yeah! Yeah, and then I play Minecraft! No, this is true. You're right. What's wrong with that?